I had a big rust hole underneath here, which I treated and I filled the whole rust hole up with weld. So that's taken care of, and I've welded this bit back down. But now I've got to fix this part of the corner of the window, and I've been cutting a little piece to fit, and it nearly goes in there. I just got to keep trimming it a bit more, then put a little bit of a bend in it so it goes with the curve. You can't really pro see it properly on the video, but it's nearly there. Uh, another thing too, when I went to put this panel back on, it sat a little bit high. Uh, it didn't, it wasn't level with this. So what I'd done, I just got the hammer and I had to bang it about here. It was a little bit high and now it sits flush, sits perfectly. So I'm just going to try and bend this a bit and then I'll switch the camera back on again. Okay, I've got this little piece that fits perfectly in that little, in that gap. I've got the right shape to it. So I'm going to weld that in. Um, and then I'm thinking this whole corner, I'm not going to put bog in it. I might just put lead in it like they used to in the old days. Um, I'm still debating on how I'm going to go, but looks like that's ready to, to weld in. Um, yeah, I'll see how that goes. I'm just finishing off from my last video. I've put a little tiny patch in here in this corner uh, just to finish it off. And across the other side, I'm not sure if you can see or not, I've plugged up rust hole there, rust hole there, I just did it with the mink, just filled up the rust. And now I'm just about to finish welding this bit in and then I can move on to the battery tray. Back to I've sticky taped my iPhone on, I hope this is going to work. Stay still. Basically, it. it's done. Okay. Now off to the battery. Let's work on the battery tray now. Um, I've taken out the support for the bumper bar, and with the uh, drill like this, I'm just cleaning up the inside down here, so I can see where all the spot welds are, and I'll follow them right around. And I'm going to drill straight through those, and hopefully. The battery tray will then pop out. Uh, got some welds to cut here, across here. A little bit of hammer and hopefully it should fall straight out. And where these holes are and I drill where I drill through to get the battery tray out, I'll use those as my spot welds or plug welds to weld the new one back in. So hopefully it should all go to plan. I'll see how it goes. Off and it's stuck a little bit in the corner there, but eventually it came out. Um, chassis rail seems fine, which is good news. Um, I've, I've got a replacement panel, which seems to fit quite nicely. Nice and snug. Um, but I'm not sure if I want to put the battery in the boot or not. So I'll have to hurry up and decide that. If I want to put it in the boot, I'm not going to use this panel. I'll make a flat one exactly like this, but just flat. 
Um, and if I'm going to have the battery in the engine bay where it usually is, then I'll just leave this in. But I'll have to quickly decide and work out what I'm going to do. I'll just also add that if you're going to do this yourself, um, just look out for these these spot welds here. I couldn't find them. I, I used a grinder on the top trying to find them, and I, I could only find them as I started chiseling it off, which made it a bugger to get off. But um, yeah, just take note where they are. So hopefully, when you do yours, uh, you'll be able to find them a bit easier knowing where they are. Okay, I wanted to get a rotisserie. Uh, they cost about a thousand bucks to buy. Um, that's brand new. And I just thought I'm going to make one myself. Uh, I bought all the steel. It's all three mil gauge steel. Uh, it cost me about 300 bucks. And I've just started tacking it together, as you can see. That's going to hold the back part of the car. I've got this bit here, which is going to hold the front of the car once I put it all together. Those two brackets there are going to go in where the bumper bar used to sit. And that's what's going to hold it. And I've got the main frame here. As you can see, I'm just just about to weld it all together now. Um, if anyone wants the plans for this so they can build their own, uh, the GMH Tirana Forum has everything you could need. Uh, anything you need to know about Tiranas, that all is on that forum. Uh, they probably know more about Tiranas than what Holden do. So um, I'll put a link to their website at the end of the video. Uh, so basically this is it, I'm going to tack it all together then weld it and hopefully put the car on it and see how she goes. Okay, Just to show you roughly what we're doing um, I'll clean up most of these, I'll just clean up this last bit just to get the burrs off. All we want to do to start with is just tack it. See that? That's all you need to do, and that'll hold it. And just tack it all together, and then go around and weld it. Just got a coat of paint on the rotisserie. It's all done now. Uh, just waiting for that to dry and then I'll try and fit it to the car. There you go. I wanted to film more of this being made, but I learned a valuable lesson of don't use your iPhone and walk the dog at the same time because that's the end result. Um, so what do we got? Basically, if someone's going to build one of these, like I said, go to the GMH Tirana forum and you'll learn how to do it there. But some basic guidelines to stick by is make sure from here to the steel there is a meter high you need one meter clearance roughly have it two meters wide across for support um, and from here to the center of where it bolts in so the center of that bar to the center of the pipe that comes out has to be 200 mil so if you stick to those measurements 200 mil for that one meter high and say two meters across then you shouldn't go wrong if you don't do that 200 mil from the center there to the center of that bar um, your center of gravity will be out and the car won't spin properly 
like this is pretty much almost perfect. So tomorrow I'll put it on the car and see what's underneath. I'm just about to fit the rotisserie to the car. It's pretty much all done. Um, and I put this in where the bumper bar sits, marked out the holes, and I'm just tapping some holes so I can use a bolt to bolt it in. There's a couple of ways you can do this. You, you can make a thread like I've just done here, um, or you could drill a slightly bigger hole and weld a bolt on the back. So then it could screw into, but I've just chosen to... I've got the tools, so I might as well just make a thread. And yeah, I'll see how it goes in a few minutes. This is the back part fitted. As you can see, bolted where the rear bumper bar used to be. Right there. And one last thing I've got to do now, which I haven't worried about, was I've got to just do something to stop the car spinning right round. I might drill some holes and put a bolt in or something, but I'll quickly work that out now and see how it goes. Just done a last minute modification to the rotisserie before I put the car on it. It didn't look too stable with a thin piece of steel here, so I put a, a bigger piece of pipe in and drilled some holes. So I'll put a bolt or some sort of pin through here. So that way I can position the car in any angle I want to put it, put the pin in and it won't move. Uh, another thing I just want to add is I've got wheels with uh, locks on them so that'll help the rotisserie not move when you've got the car in position and you're working on it uh, so that's about it now I've just got to do the other one exactly the same as this and then I can put the car on it but that's about it for the rotisserie and hopefully by the next video I'll have the car up on the rotisserie upside down and be ripping bits off underneath and do a few more repairs and see how that goes